Now, about 30 minutes from now, Benghazi suspect Ahmed Abu Katala is back in court. As the government lays out its evidence in a series of court filings, we're learning more about the, the terrorist strike on the American consulate. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harris is live outside that courthouse now with more. What do we expect today, Catherine? Good morning there. Well, thank you, Bill, and good morning. Uh, the Benghazi suspect, Ahmed Abu Katala, arrived here at the federal courthouse about three hours ago amid heavy security with U.S. Marshals patrolling the adjacent streets about a stone's throw from the Capitol building. Uh, today's hearing is a procedural or status hearing where they'll lay out uh, key dates in the months ahead for the prosecution. Uh, it's also the first time that Katala will appear before the judge who is presiding over the case, Judge Chris Cooper. He was nominated by the Obama administration to the federal bench and he took his place here at the federal court uh, earlier this year. If it's like any of the other previous hearings, we'll probably learn a little bit more about the government's case against Katala Bill. Yeah, and what are we learning about the government's case so far, Catherine, that we can report? Well, we've had very limited uh, documents, but what they claim is that he is part of a conspiracy to provide material support to terrorists with the expectation that they would be attacking a federal facility and that this led to the death of Ambassador Chris Stevens and also Foreign Service Officer Sean Smith at the U.S. Consulate. That was the first wave of the attack. There is no mention significantly in these court documents of spontaneity or a video, and this seems to blow apart the explanation first offered for the attack. The limited sort of placeholder indictment that we've seen so far uh, puts a lie to the administration's talking points about a spontaneous video and all the rest of it. I mean, this is, this is 180 degrees from the administration's first talking points. So based on the documents, uh, what the government is saying is that there was a conspiracy. It began in the days leading up to the 9-11 attack and that it was coordinated and that it was premeditated. There's no reference in these documents to spontaneity or uh, the video being a catalyst. And that's significant given that on her recent book tour, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said that it was entirely possible that some in the crowd may have been motivated by that video. Mm -hmm. But the people who are filing this case against Katala say that that, at least at this point, was not part of the equation on the night bill. We're coming up at the top of the hour. Thank you. Catherine Herridge outside the courthouse You're in welcome. Washington. You bet, Martha.